Hello, Peter Detmer, instructor, Madison College. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how you can change the IP address in Windows XP. First, we will click on Start, go over to Connect To, click on Show All Connections. This will bring up a new window showing all of our network connections available on this machine. They might be different than what I'm showing here, depending on your configurations and available network connections. We're looking for the LAN or high-speed internet. The first one is our hardwired local area connection. Second is a uh, internal connection and third is our wireless connection, which I currently have disconnected or turned off. I'm interested in changing the IP address for my local area connection. I'm going to right click on that select properties from this new window which again will most likely look different than what I have as far as installed services and items you want to scroll down to the very bottom look for the internet protocol TCP IP click on properties currently my IP address gets, on, gets assigned automatically from a server if you need to change this to a manually assigned address, simply click on the radio button for use the following IP address. Click on the first open field for IP address. Type in the address for your network. I'm assigning 192.168.1.11. Press the tab key on your keyboard that fills in the subnet mask. If you're only connecting to one other device, such, a, such as a PLC or um, um, HMI, you do not need to fill in any other information uh, as it's the direct connection between those devices. The network address is identified by the subnet mask. The network part is 192.168.1. Where there's a zero, this has to be a unique ID for the other system you want to connect to as well. So these first three items have to match. The last one has to be unique or different on each device on that network. You do not need a DNS server if you're simply connecting to other control devices such as PLCs or HMIs. That's it. Thank you.